Hey everyone, in this video we'll be talking about DSHOT. So what is DSHOT? Uh, DSHOT is a new digital communication protocol between the flight controller and ESCs. Um, all the protocols up until now, OneShot 125, OneShot 42, and MultiShot, those are all analog. Um, there's, there's a lot of advantages of having a digital protocol over analog. The biggest are the speed and accuracy. The only analog protocol that's faster than DSHOT is MultiShot, but DSHOT is still better because it's digital. So on an analog protocol, information is sent by PWM, or uh, pulse width modulation. The info is decoded by measuring the length of the pulse. This format has a lot of room for error in the form of um, jitter. So jitter is basically when the signal jumps around um, the desired point causing invalid data. But data is just ones and zeros, so it's it's really precise. And in the DSHOT 16-bit bitstream, there are four checksum bits to uh, verify the data. And because of this, ESC calibration is not needed anymore. So to be able to run DSHOT, you'll need an at least an F3 flight controller. And if you're using KISS, you'll need to have the uh, KISS flight controller with KISS. 24 amp ESCs and if you want to flash the ESCs through the KISS um, flight controller your ESCs need to have firmware 1.02 or newer and for beta flight um, base systems you'll need to be running a BL Heli S. Um, I've been only using KISS gear for about the past six months so I'll just be talking about KISS setups in this post. So I've got this Armitan SCX200 that I built last week for the video and it's currently flashed with RC28 on the KISS flight controller. I'll show you how to flash your flight controller and ESC with DSHOT. So before you flash DSHOT on your flight controller, go ahead and connect your KISS flight controller to the configurator and write down the settings or take a screenshot because once you flash the flight controller with DSHOT, it'll erase all the settings. So go ahead and do that now. So to flash DSHOT, you have to have Chrome installed on your computer. So you don't have that, go ahead and install Chrome. Um, and then go to this page right here, this RC Groups page. It has all the files you need to uh, flash DSHOT. So I'll have a link to this page in the description below or on my website. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the new KISS Flight Controller GUI for DSHOT. So just click that. And then make sure you unzip it and you have this folder right here. Close and then go to Chrome. Go up in the Windows and select Extensions. And then put it in Developer Mode and hit Load Unpack Extensions. And then select that file we just downloaded for the GUI, this one, hit select, you should get this, and then launch. So this is your new uh, configurator for DSHOT. And then next we're going to download the hex file for DSHOT. So I'm just going to use this one, RC30 uh, DSHOT. Make sure it unzipped and you have this folder with this hex file right here. Close that. Now to flash your flight controller with DSHOT, hold down the boot button on the flight controller and then plug in the USB at the same time. And you should get this uh, screen right here. Go select firmware and then select that hex file we just downloaded for uh, the KISS should be RC38 DSHOT. Hit open and then hit flash firmware. Okay, so when it's when it's done you should see this right here, success. So I'm just gonna let go of the button and then unplug. And then next, we're going to flash the ESCs with DSHOT. Go back to this page right here, and then select the KISS24A DSHOT, which is the firmware for the ESCs. Make sure you have it here. Look at it. There should be a hex file inside right here. Close. And then now just connect your flight controller 
to the new configurator and then hit connect and then right now you'll see this is not activated just go ahead hit go ahead and hit save and you should see activated and then go to ESC flasher I know what I'm doing select the firmware we just downloaded for the ESC should be this I'm going with this hex file not the debug one hit open and then before you click flash firmware plug the lipo battery into the quad and then click flash firmware This usually takes a couple minutes, so I'm just going to fast forward the video. So once you see the screen, your uh, ESCs are flashed. Go ahead and disconnect the battery. And then disconnect it from the computer also. And close out the program. And then go back and open it up. Plug in your flight controller and connect. So as you so as you can see, the new configurator is a little bit different from the old uh, configurator. Now to enable D shot, all you have to do is um, go in the ESC mode and select D shot 600, and then um, put all the the settings you had in before. I'm gonna just gonna, I'll just do that real quick. So those are my PIDs, and then for um, these, I like to set this to 1060. Max throttle 2000, min command will be 1000 because I want air mode. D shot 600, and then the auxiliary switches are a little bit different from the old configurator. Now you can um, have a low, low, medium, high, medium, medium, high, and a high. So if you're used to the switch positions in clean flight, now you can have it the same on your KISS flight controller. You don't have to go and reverse any switches in, um, in your Tyrannus. All right, so once you do that, let's go ahead and hit save. And then uh, make sure if your flight controller is flipped 180 degrees, they change the orientation to this advanced tab. So just go ahead and change this if you need to. And that's pretty much it with the flashing D shot onto your flight controller and ESC. All right. You ready, Mike? Yeah. Three. Yeah.